as we enter the spring market this year. The heat of the market is honestly beyond anything that I've ever seen in my 12 year career. I actually hit my 12 year anniversary next month. Super, super excited about that. But including the bananas, bonkers, insert hyperbolic word, craziness of last spring, spring 2021, including that, this is beyond anything that I've ever seen. We're now more than two months into where the market just is a supreme imbalance between supply and demand. Sellers and buyers where homes are just selling like that. Multi aggressive multiple offer situations are the norm. I kind of missed the days like a month or two ago when that was kind of a secret. These days, I do find it's rather common knowledge about where we're sitting today. Such a unique place. Homes, as you know, flying off the shelves. You see a sign go up in the front yard. You see buyer traffic that is just bonkers. You do see that home go under contract quickly. Average days on market in the accessible price points being around five. And there's a reason for that. Homes tend to go in the market midweek to late week drag buyers out through the opening weekend and then respond to multiple offers after that that's become after that weekend that's become rather common practice we can talk about that if you'd like but i should just note that average days on market is artificially high where offers are coming in in the first day, day on market rather rather quickly so happy to share some stories with you from recent seller context and buyer context what we're seeing there and what is and is not working. I do find this to be very fascinating, but yeah, very, very hot market and a very unique one where a little bit over two months ago, we saw mortgage rates jump over half a point that just accelerated the market so quickly. Buyers that were on the fence thinking, gosh, let's do something in the next year, near future, whatever that means for them, for you, they pummeled into the marketplace. And now we're seeing that again in the last week, over a quarter point jump, for 30 year fixed rate mortgages. And that is what's happening right now. So, you know, while everyone's thinking like, gosh, the market might slow over the next little bit, I personally think there's a very low probability that's what we're going to see in the short term. Um, it's gonna be a similar kind of acceleration to what we saw in early mid January, just that happening on a compound basis again. So county wide, Wasatch front wide, all along, all throughout Utah and throughout the country, we're seeing prices just increase on a rapidly and compounding basis. And the reason for that is that we're not really constrained by appraisals like we typically are, at least not in the same sense. Appraisal gaps, so guaranteeing how much buyers are going to pay over appraisal has become rather common practice. And that does vary by price point um, on what is required for those, but do reach out if I can dig into that a little bit more. But what happens there is when buyers are habitually paying, say, X percent over market value, that just makes it so that on a compounding basis, prices go up very, very quickly. We're typically in hot markets, prices go up low double digits percent per year. We are, we've broken free of that very significantly at this point. But all that, like, oh my gosh, the market is like so, you know, people have FOMO, all that kind of stuff. That shouldn't make you nervous, even though I do find that most people that I talk to, especially that are thinking of selling their current house, buying their next house, it's kind of a nerve wracking experience and starting to research what is possible and what is required <laughs> to win in the current market can be just a little bit intimidating. But my one, my, my one bit of major advice for you is reach out to a skilled agent. This is a skills-based market and the agents that are winning for their clients have the skills to be able to do so. Um, I do wanna to talk to you about what that actually means, but just make sure to reach out to a great agent. Obviously, if you're here locally in Salt Lake City, I would be honored to interview for the position, but just go over what is possible. And while you're in that exploratory phase, make your plans for the next little bit. And if it benefits you to do something sooner rather than later, which in the current space, there's a high probability that is the case um, to talk about what that would look like. But anyways, it's going to be a very hot spring market-wise. A lot of people that you know are going to move. And if that's something that you were having thoughts of doing, I'd be deeply honored to assist you. But as always, anything that I can do to help you, feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks.